I'm Maggie Chapman, MSP, and I'm here with the FBU at the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service Newbridge Training Centre, where about 175 firefighters are undergoing health screening to check for cancers and other toxins that they are exposed to as part of their everyday jobs. What we do today is uh, we're carrying out health monitoring for firefighters, uh, something that is well recognised around the globe, that firefighters have higher rates of cancers and diseases and they've got those cancers and diseases much younger age compared to the general population. Firefighters coming today for the health monitoring, which has got two components. One, early testing, testing for the uh, markers for the cancers and diseases, which are normally uh, referred by the GP. And the second group is for the fire chemicals. So chemicals that are generated only in fires, they are called live chemicals or persistent organic pollutants, which are accumulative of a firefighter's career to see if those specific chemicals are in any way associated with the rare cancers that firefighters might develop during their career. I've been in the job for 23 years and when I started, we and for the first half of my career, we did everything that's considered bad practice now. We regularly went to jobs with no respiratory protection, car fires, cutting away after incidents. If today to want to help with the help to give a body of help with the body research that we'll try to put together, but also to, to uh, see if we can be identifying if I have, you know, like so many of our colleagues, if, if there's anything, anything wrong. Firefighters have few steps. They're starting with their consent. Then through the consent, they're going for the health checkups, uh, something like a height, uh, weight, oxygen saturation, high blood, uh, or sorry, blood pressure. And then they're collecting, we're collecting blood and urine for the clinical testing for the markers for the cancer diseases and also for the identification of the chemicals. At the end, we're doing spirometry as well for the lungs capacity. Perfect. Thank you very much for the Scottish Government to fund this health monitoring amongst firefighters and also um, help in facilitating our location by the Fire Brigade Union and Scottish Fire and Rescue.